In this lesson, we discuss the considerations for solving a simulation model. By creating a model that runs quickly, there is value in the ability to explore many design variations to achieve an optimized part. For example, this carbon fiber bicycle frame was highly optimized following over 30,000 design iterations by the computer. We also discuss that nonlinear models require additional resources and that these nonlinearities are often required to capture the complex physical behavior of the system. Including these will typically allow our simulation model to more closely match the true physical behavior, but they come at a price. So whether we are looking to explore the design of a single part, a complex system, or capture the highly nonlinear effects, computational resources will be key to achieving timely simulation results. There are many available options to solve our models, from a single desktop or laptop, to tens of thousands of cores in the cluster, cloud, or distributed network, giving us the ability to solve the most challenging and complex problems. We also discussed in detail the newton raphson method that's typically employed to solve the nonlinear models and how we can understand and visualize the convergence behavior of our solution. With these understandings, we're in a much better position to construct the right simulation model based on the desired outcome.